What is up guys, my name is Mark and in today's video I'm gonna give you 5 things that GoPro might have missed out in their latest addition to their lineup, the Hero 7 Black. But before that, if you haven't checked out my comprehensive review of the Hero 7 Black, I'll be linking it in the description just down below or maybe you can click this link here or maybe here. Check that one out, leave a comment down below. And now, before we go down and dirty, let's roll that intro. Guys, don't get me wrong, the Hero 7 Black is a kick-ass of an action cam. It's by far the best action cam in the market right now. Especially the addition of the newest groundbreaking image stabilization, the Hyper Smooth. And for those who have one already, I know you'll agree 100% that the stabilization of the GoPro Hero 7 Black is definitely not a hype. But wait a minute, you and I cannot just let GoPro get away with some few things that they should have tweaked or fixed but they decided to leave it at that. As I have been using it for almost 5 months now, I took it everywhere from trekking mountains, climbing cliffs, to going underwater until I took it to one of our trips to explore some beaches. That was the first time that I noticed this problem on their touchscreen. And every time I get out of the water to take a breather, and maybe change some settings inside the GoPro, it came to a point that it made it impossible and very difficult for me to change the settings. I have to wipe out the screen before I can change some options in it. I'm not really sure how GoPro can fix that one, maybe through a firmware update, but I know one thing's for sure, they should straighten that one out as soon as possible because it's an action camera, it's supposed to be built underwater and that problem should not exist in the first place. I don't know about you guys but I love taking my GoPro underwater knowing that I can get clear images and footages, especially at 4K. It's a no brainer when you go on outings and adventures. But of course not to take away everything from GoPro, you can always set it up prior to using it and hoping that the settings will work the moment you get underwater. If not, you can always put the GoPro in auto settings putting all your images and footages at GoPro's AI. But as for me as a professional filmmaker, I'm not usually that comfortable putting my settings in the mercy of GoPro's AI. I would rather set it up manually to really get the look that I wanted. The Hero 7 Black is almost a perfect action camera with the potential uses that you can do with it and of course it can really maximize your creativity, not to mention its size. It's even a perfect getaway essential that you can take wherever you go. But sadly, the small size came with a price. Its low light capability is not that good with this camera. And again, don't get me wrong, it's not really that bad. You can still use it in low light, but you can really notice some grain or maybe some noise, especially when there is a very limited source of light. But yet again, given its size, you can't really go all out at its sensor. And talking about the sensor, just a quick pro tip for those of you who are just starting out in photography and filmmaking. The sensor is the one responsible for processing all the images that you have been taking or the footages that you have been recording. It is also in charge at how much light can the camera accept. Thus, the smaller the sensor, the less light the camera can accommodate. Just a shout out to GoPro. I don't know how you can do it, but maybe through a firmware update again that we can really maximize the sensor of this small camera. As much as we could, we want to carry light. That's why the Hero 7 Black is pretty much the perfect go-to gear when it comes to going on vacations. But we have a small problem. Its battery light is not that long. Packed with only 1220 milliamps of power, it can only take you about more or less roughly one hour of 4K footages. I know, it's not enough for the long trips that you are planning, but there's always a workaround. First thing is you can always take a power bank with you and you can charge it up whenever you're not using it. Just a little disclaimer, you can't use your action camera when it's charging up. Second option would be you can always get third party batteries. Good thing is, they're always widely available in the market right now. You can order it at your favorite online store. And usually you can get it by pairs and it comes with a charger with it. 
and I'll be linking some of the options in the description below you can check that one out and just to let you know I'll be getting some small portion of that purchase that you'll be making As much as I love taking it underwater, it has its limits. This leads us to the fourth thing that I don't like much about this Hero 7 Black. And that is you can only take it as deep as 33 feet. That would be approximately 10 meters. That if you're a deep sea diver then that's definitely not good news. You might have noticed the drastic change in the design of the GoPro Hero lineup. The previous models, if you want to take your GoPro underwater, you have to put it in a plastic transparent case or what they call the super suit housing. Noticeably, they have removed that one in the recent releases of the GoPro Hero lineup, making the design a little bit sleeker, but again, it came with some consequences. But wait guys, before you go ballistic, there's still a work around it. If you have previously owned a GoPro which has a super suit housing in it, you can still use it in the recent releases of the GoPro Hero 6 and 7. But wait, before you get too excited, this only works for the GoPro Hero 7 Black specifically. If you have the white or the silver version, I'm sorry to say that you won't be able to go as deep as 33 feet. You might be asking why it's only available in the Hero 7 Black. That's because you need to remove the protective lens cover in order for you to fit it in the super suit housing and you won't be able to do that one with the white and the silver version. Once it is inside the super suit housing, it can go as deep as 196 feet, and that would be approximately 60 meters in depth. Now, if you haven't purchased yourself one yet and you're planning to go deep sea diving, be sure to get the Hero 7 Black. Lastly, this brings me to the last and the fifth problem that I encountered while using this version of the Hero 7 lineup. Remember that I told you that I went on a long trip to explore some beaches? This was the first time that I took my GoPro underwater and to my dismay, I noticed that the protective lens cover had a leak in it. So I noticed some mist that was forming inside it. To cut the long story short, I was not able to take it underwater as much as I want to because I was afraid that I would damage it further. So I guess that's goodbye for amazing 4K images underwater on that trip. That's a bummer. And immediately after I went home, I contacted GoPro's customer service support. Fortunately, they were able to reach out to me the soonest time possible and sent out immediately a replacement for the protective lens cover that was apparently broken and damaged and that was the one causing the leak. And that was the five things that I don't really hate because hate is a very strong word but I wish and hope and pray the GoPro will be improving on it and working on it in the future and as for me it still remains the best action camera in the market today packing tons of features wrapped up in a very small and compact device and that is it guys thank you for watching if you have something on your mind leave us a comment down below and if you don't want to miss one of our future videos, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon just beside it so we can keep you notified. Keep shooting, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys later.